Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through exactly how to set up a VPN on your router. By doing this, you're going to have the VPN connection directly on your internet network. So any device that is connected to that network is automatically going to be connected up to the VPN location, allowing you to access content and sites from all over the world and also giving you more privacy and security while you're using the internet. Now, parts of this are pretty technical so I'm gonna go nice and easy and try to walk you through every step but the first thing to do is verify that your router can actually have a VPN connection put on it if your router came directly from your internet service provider then it probably won't be able to support a VPN the easiest way to find this out is just to go on Google and search your router and see if it is compatible with a VPN once you've confirmed that your router can support a VPN the next step is to find a good VPN to put on on it. The ones that I recommend are either ExpressVPN, NordVPN, or Surfshark. All three of these have a ton of documentation and tutorials for exactly how to set up the VPN regardless of the type of router you have. And they all have at least 100 countries to connect to very fast speeds and they're also very secure and privacy focused. Now I'll have links in the description that will take you exactly where you need to go in order to get them. I'll also talk a little bit more at the end of the video about which one might be best for you. But regardless of which one you've chosen, it's gonna be pretty much the same steps. I'm going to use Surfshark right here and once you've set up your account, you would go into the main dashboard, your account page right here. You would go on the left side to VPN to a manual setup, right? We're setting this up ourselves on the VPN. Once you're here, you would go to a router and then we want to click open VPN. That's going to be the safest bet. Some routers may support WireGuard or IKEV2, but for this example, we're going to go with open VPN. Now, the two important things here are your credentials. You want to save this. You're going to need it in a second when we go into the router and then your locations. Here you can choose the location that you want the router connected to. You can choose the fastest one, the nearest country, or all of the about 100 countries that Surfshark has are available right here. When you pick one, you just want to go to the download and download that file. So I'll just go and click on the Albania server. Now we're going to have another window and you have options to download TCP or UDP. I would recommend UDP. That's going to be the faster of the two. What that's going to do is download a .ovpn file. OK, we want to remember where that is because we are going to need it. And this is the way it works in Surfshark. But for NordVPN and ExpressVPN, it'll be pretty much the same. You want to find wherever it says manual setup or setup with router, and then you'll be able to get your credentials and the OpenVPN config files. Now, once we have all that, we've gotten what we've needed from the VPN. We would go into the router itself. In order to get to this page, you would generally go into your browser and type in 192.168.1.1. The router's address, or sometimes it's called the default gateway, should be located on the bottom of your router. Generally, it's the one that I just said before. It's going to ask you to sign in. Very often, it's admin for both username and password. That should also be on your router. Now, once you sign in, this is where things are really going to depend on your setup. I'm just showing you an example here with an Asus router, but every router is going to be a little bit different. In this example, we're going to go to the VPN tab on the left side. Once we're here, we go into VPN client and then we would go to add profile. In the profile section, you would click on open VPN. You would put a description. This can just be Surfshark uh, Albania in this example. So that if I ever come back later, I can see the VPN and the location. And then the username and password. This is where you're going to want to put in those credentials from earlier that we got in Surfshark over here. After you put the credentials in, you would want to add that .ovvpn file, that config file that we downloaded before for Albania. And then then we would just hit OK. In this example, after that, there's just another step to click activate. Some VPNs may ask you to enable the VPN connection for specific devices that are using the router. Every VPN is going to be a little bit different, but that's the general steps. You want to go into the router, find where the VPN settings are, add an open VPN profile, put in those credentials and add that config file that you've downloaded from your VPN's website. Once you've done that, the simple way to test it is just to go to any IP address finder website 
website, you can go to whatismyipaddress.com and the IP address that it shows you, the location that should show up is the location that you set up on your router. If that's showing, you know you've done it right. Now, just by the way, if you didn't wanna deal with this whole setup headache, then there is an easier way to do this. You can get a router that has either NordVPN or ExpressVPN pre-installed, meaning that you don't need to do any configuration. The only downside with these routers is that they are quite expensive. So personally, I would say if your router does support a VPN connection and you don't mind just tinkering around and doing it yourself, you'd definitely be saving a lot of money. And in general, another way you can save money on these VPNs is by using the discount link that I have in the description. That will actually get you the best price and save you the most money on your subscription itself. In terms of which VPN to go with, NordVPN is going to be the best if you want a lot of features. Surfshark is great if you're on a budget, but you want something that performs really well. And in my opinion, the best all around VPN that has a little bit of everything, is decently priced, very fast, and super easy to use is ExpressVPN. This is my personal favorite and the one that I use on a daily basis. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment down below. I'm always looking to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.